Welcome back. In this step, we'll try and create a simple database table and we'll see if we can see the data in the H2 console. We have already added in JPA, JDBC and also H2 as dependencies in our pom.xml. So we get a feature through auto configuration. That's basically that you can define in the source main resources, you can define a SQL file. So I can create a SQL file with the name data.sql. If you create a data.sql file in the source main resources, when you launch up the application, this gets called. All the data in the data.sql is used to initialize the database. So we'll use that feature. This is one of the auto configuration features that is provided by Spring Boot. So we'll make use of that to add some data to our database. So we'll first create a table and then add some data to the database. What we want to do is we want to create a person table with a few columns. I would want to create a column called ID and I would want to give a name to the person. I would want to give him a location. So a name, a location, and also let's say I would want to track his birth date, birth underscore date. Let's say this is the table I would want to be able to create. So person table, with all these columns present. Now, how do I create a table? Create table person. So this is normal SQL, right? So this is data definition language to define a table. So we would want to create a table called person. So create table person. Inside that, I would want to have a column called ID. To create a column, what I would need to define is its type. ID, I would want to have it as an integer. And because it's a primary key, I don't want to have a null value in there. So I'm saying not null. Next, I would want to define my name. The name, I would have varchar of 255 characters. And I can say not null for this as well. I don't want name to be null at all. And location, varchar of 255, it can possibly be null. So I'll leave it as it is. And for birth date, I would use timestamp. I would want to be able to hold a date and a time. So I'm using something called a timestamp. In addition to this, I would want to declare the fact that the ID is a primary key. Now, Just save this down. I put a semicolon down here. Be very careful with the syntax. Everything here should be exactly what, exactly as what I have typed in here. So you need to have a open bracket, a close bracket, a semicolon, and all the columns separated by commas. There should not be any comma after the primary key ID. So make sure that you are exactly typing it in as it is in here. Let's now stop the application and start it again. I'm searching if the create, oops, I don't see it here, but let's go to the H2 console and see if I can see it down there. So let's refresh, continue please. I would need to connect to the database again. And now you see a table called person. And when I do a select start from person, I can see no data which is present in here. But the important thing for us is the fact that there's a table called person which is present. ID, name, location, birth date. Now we have created a table in the database with a few columns which are present in there. In this small step, we created a table in the database. In the next step, we would populate some data into it. Until the next step, bye-bye.